I am now live. Hello, guys. Happy Monday. So let's wait for everyone to come in. I have been drinking pre gaming Mixed Mojo PH. So I'm drinking the Amaretta Sar. I used to order this a lot in what was that bar? The one in Fort Strip. Privé. Ayan, Privé. And then it comes with cherries also. So I like my drink filled with cherries. So anyway, so what have you been doing the past week, the weekend? Let's see who's here. Bakit ang aga? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Hi. So a lot has been happening in my industry. And, you know, I don't want to talk politics or I don't want to talk current events because that's really not what this is about. But I just want to say that I'm very well aware of what's happening. And, you know, there's a movement that's happening going on around. So, yeah. That's as much as I will say. Hi. Hello. So, who, who's here? I finished this drink. Mix Mojo PH. I am drinking Amaretto Sar. Gayahin ko si Kelly. Yan. I am also wearing uh, a top from Una Ricci. So my friend Nina, we went to school together in Lasal. It's a cute top, diba? It's linen. And you know, I always associate linen with the summer. Kasi diba parang this is what you wear in the summertime. Like, it's a perfect fabric because it's light and you know you can wear this on the plane and even if it gets crumpled or look out it doesn't matter it's okay but right? that's what it's supposed to look like i remember that my mom when we used to go shopping like when i was young when she would touch fabrics she was a fa fashion designer she's a retail design designer she would say parang ay linen she would always appreciate linens and she would say na ay ang tawag dyan gusto at mayaman sasabihin niya with um, her sisters who were all designers my grandmother and her three her two sisters were designers so marami silang alam when it comes to textile and fabrication and stuff like that so yun so lumaki kami magkakapatid like we'd favor linen so like when we'd go shopping like when we're abroad like my sisters talagang they would go crazy over linen shirts ganyan I remember one time in Ralph Lauren I don't remember which um I think it was in Barstow. Talagang nag-trigger happy sila mag ano, ng linen. Cutie ng top. Thank you. So this is again Una Ricci. So it is available in Trist, in Power Plant, in Rockwell. So they gave me this to wear tonight. I don't, I mean like, I don't usually dress up. So I just wear something that, you know, I wear to bed. Of course, I wear makeup. Pero nakakahiya naman kasi nagpadala na ng clothes. Yon. So, suot na natin. Wala naman tayong pagagamitan, diba? Hindi mo tayo lumalabas. So anyway, tonight I am going to talk to three very, very successful, amazing women. You know, that's they're very successful. They were successful on their own. And then when they got married, um, you know, parang mas lalo pa naging kumpleta yung success nila. So that's what I thought about. Kasi parang I've been getting a lot of questions in my Monday Q&A to choose between love and career, di ba? Parang that is so, parang I feel like matagal nang... Matagal lang ano yan, parang pinagdidiskusyon na na parang you can either have your career or love. Parang hindi naman dapat ganun pag empowered ka, ba? You can have both. So I have three beautiful women who actually have both and you know, they exemplify that new standard when it comes to empowered modern Filipino women. Hi, love your lipstick. So this is again a local brand also. This is Bare Essentials. So you can... Go to Bear Essentials, Bear Essentials PH on Instagram. Another friend owns this. Her name is Zara. So, yun. Napakaganda mo. Wow, thanks. I see Dean. Hello, Dean. Cheers. So, yes. So, ganyan ang pag-uusapan natin tonight. Love and the multifaceted women, woman. Yun. So, parang, when I was thinking about the topic, I was thinking about which girls really exemplify the standard. So, sabi ko parang, sino ba? 
And you know, like the first person I thought of was Maggie, and then I thought of Kelly also. So I'm so happy that they said yes. I mean, like, de ba parang it's such a cool, cool, cool thing to have both of them. And of course, I invited also Tweeted de Leon. She's my life peg, and every time I see her, I tell her that that she's my life peg, my beauty peg, everything, everything peg. I mean, yeah, so I'm very happy about the lineup tonight. Watching from Malaysia. Hello, Malaysia. You are extra pretty tonight, G. Thank you. I mean, like, girls will dress up for boys, diba. Right? But boys are so easy to please, diba. Right? So women actually dress up for other women because women know when another woman is well dressed or well put together, parang ganyan. So, like, these women are, 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 are people that I really admire when it comes to style and everything. You look like Isa Calzado today. Wow! Thank you. Narinig ko ulit yung voice mo. Thank you. I'll open the fan. It's very warm. Or medyo may tama lang the Mix Mojo PH. Again, Mix Mojo PH. I'm drinking the Amaretto Sar for this first hour. They sent me three cocktails for each hour. So, yeah. So, I started with Amaretto Sar. Because every time I used to go out before, I would order Amaretto Sar first. And then we... I go... I drink up. First time on your live. Ganda ng skin. Thank you. It's really just the lighting, I feel. But, yeah. I mean, I drink a lot of water. Enjoy watching from SG. Singapore. Hello. Hello. Hi, Singapore. So, yeah. You know, I haven't been able to read your comments. So, sige, I'll scroll your comments muna before we talk to Kelly. Our first guest is Kelly. I don't want to say guest. I want to say, like, my first conversation is going to be with Kelly. This is such an informal thing. It's not an, a formal show, talk show. So, yeah. First conversation is going to be with Kelly. Alam nyo, like, during my time, pag sinabing blogger, because I was a blogger once before Ernie Lopez asked me to take down my blog. When you said blogger, Hindi lang siya OOTD, tapos picture ka, tapos ipopost mo sa Instagram. When you said blogger, legit talaga. As in, it would come with an article. As in, susulat mo talaga. And Kelly Misa was a blogger that I really admired. I followed her blog. I, I read her blog. And I got featured in it. That's how I met her. And I think it was one fashion party. I think it was a preview best dress party. And she asked me to take a photo with her. So, yo, so sabi ko, Wow! Big time, Kelly Misa. Ang sarap na am Amaretto Sar ni na PJ. Sobra! Actually, yung drinks nila, so far, nagugustuhan ko lahat. So, I really wanna meet their mixologist. What will be your topic next Monday? Excited! Pwedeng tapusin muna natin yung Monday na to. Yan. Missed your IG loves for the past weeks. Laki ng tulong ng ring light. Sobra ka naman para naman sinabing. Tingnan muna natin pag walang ring light ha. Para naman sabi sinabi yung, yung ring light lang yung nagpaganda sa akin. Oh, cute pa naman na Ah, cute din naman na Oh. Cute ba? Hi from Bacolod. Hello. Oh, cute naman. So, prove ko lang sa inyo na kahit walang ring light, I'm cute. Oh, di. Pag may ring light, oh, di. Ah, Binibining Pilipinas. Char! I love the pearl. Thank you. Okay, my earrings naman. So, hindi ako nag-earrings. But I chose this pair because it's it was a birth... It's my birthday gift to myself. It was a birthday gift to myself. It's Chanel. So, nice, no? Bagay siya dun sa top. Grabe yung contour ko. Na, na ano yata? Talagang nag-trigger nag happy ako sa contour ko. Kasi sabi ko, oh my God, the girls are gonna be pretty tonight. I need to be like at least... Pumantay man lang ng very light. From Dubai. Hi, hello, Dubai. Hello, oh my god, this guy. I just followed him, Architect HD. I saw his sponsored post, and my god, he was such a hottie. And then, like, he messaged me from nowhere. And, you know, I don't know if you're single, Architect HD, but yeah. Just want to put it out there. Arte, contour is life. Yes. Kasi na, sabi ko para oh my god, nagnapupushaw siya kasi pag may ilaw. So, dinagdagan ko na sobrahan yata. Hindi naman masyado. Watching from Sydney. I have a best friend in Sydney. He's gonna have a birthday this week. His name is Harry. Hello. 
So anyway, yeah. So our first conversation is going to be with Kelly. And Kelly is not just a blogger. She's a model. She's a host. And then I met her again, funnily enough, when she was already working in ABS. She was a host for Wawawi. So yon, di ba? You remember that, guys? Laban lang, laban lang ads. Yeah, laban tayo, laban. Oh my God, thanks, he said, Architect HD. So you guys, you should check out his IG because he has such a hot body and he has such great taste. I have not seen you na kulot. Try mo nga, hindi, lumalaki yung mukha ko pag kulot. Hindi pwede, kailangan. Because my, my face is, it's a weird shape. It's like, I don't know if it's a square or something. I mean like, gift sa akin ng nanay ko tong mukha ko. I mean like, yung shape ng mukha. Galing pa to sa lola ko. Yan ang pamana niya. There. Okay. I love, I love Maggie Wilson. Tapos na. I love. <laughs> Char lang. Char lang, Miss Bella Bell. Napakaganda mo naman. Thank you. Thank you. Mas maganda yung mga kakausapin natin tonight. I mean, like, one is a model and host, the other is a beauty queen host, and the last one is a supermodel host. What are you drinking now? And like, again, for the third time, Amaretto Sar. Mix Mojo PH, can you please follow them? And they have, like, the best cocktails. They have an excellent mixologist. I say this even if I haven't met him because I've liked all the mixes so far, and it's just super ready. I mean, they just need a glass with ice, and then you just pour it in. Naloka ko sa pagiging straight forward. Bakit pa tayo magpaligo-ligo, di ba? At birthday ko, greet me. Abu! Happy birthday, Abu! Ikaw, kung saan saan ka nagpupunta? Wala kang takot sa COVID. Walang yaka. Kung saan saan ka nagpupunta? Bilad ka lang bilad. Ano mapapala mo dyan? I love you, hair. Thank you. What's next for us? Antaray! Parang artista. Is that cheaper? I, I really don't know. So anyway, I told Kelly to come in at 8.15 para we get a chance to talk and I get to scroll your messages because I don't really get to read them when I'm talking to them. So yeah. So I guess 15 minutes is enough for your questions. Again, my top is Una Ricci. You may follow them on IG. Una Ricci. And she is a dear friend. Akala ko with Kelsey Merit. Ang taray. Friend mo ba si Ate Sarah? Of course! I'm friends with all the artistas. I mean, like, bakit mo naman sila aawayan? Kailan gagawin yung room mo? Inuna yung garahe. I don't know. I'm happy naman with this temporary room. Shout out from Doha, Qatar. Hi! Excited ako sa combo nyo ni Miss Tweety. Tweety was my editor before. Because in, in the magazine I work for. What time do you prepare go before going live? Like 30 minutes before or maybe an hour before. Para medyo chill. Most of us can hear before. Ano? Bakit most of us can hear before? Ganun talaga. As you age, hindi mo na makukuha yung body mo when you're in your 20s. Been your fan since She Talks Asia. Wow, thank you. What's your topic next week? Pwede bang... Iraos muna natin tong week na to. Masyado kayo excited. My lip color is called Nude. It's um, bareessentials.ph. It's a local brand also. I think I really, really support local brands. I love local brands. So anyway, it's 8.13 and I just want to say that this girl is somebody that I really like. This girl is somebody I met when she was a blogger. And, you know, I'm, I see her in the fashion parties. And when I watch her feed, I mean, like, she really has, you know an ideal life na parang like you know it's awkward when you try on clothes and you you step in, in front of the camera diba but she when i watch her when she tries on clothes it's parang grabe it's so natural i mean it's i mean like she really carries them well and i like her style because she's not very fussy she's very girly and you know she doesn't use a lot of accessories she just has like one major statement piece like a handbag or a shoulder bag and then everything else siya na talaga it's the woman Okay, so let's invite Maggie. Ay, Maggie tuloy. Kelly. Wait, where's Ad there? I found her. And a hi to the beautiful Miss Kelly Misa Fernandez. Hi, Kelly! Hi! 
I've been watching you kanina pa. Grabe. I'm so entertained. So ah. What? Hindi, I'm super entertained ko. Kamusta ka na? I'm good. I'm I'm good. <laughs> What is a typical day like? Like a Monday? What is what do you do on a Monday usually since the quarantine? Well, I I've gone through different waves, I think. Like just like the quarantine, maraming waves, diba? Yeah. Na parang true. I have like different phases of I think acceptance um for for what's been happening for this new normal and right. sobrang hirap niya. Parang I think at this point <laughs> Since nagdadamit na ako, parang medyo na-accept ko na. <laughs> oh, what is a, anong percentage ng life mo ang fashion? Like, even in quarantine, like, how much do you still value fashion? Because, of course, everything changes with this whole new normal thing, di ba? Parang, when I look at my clothes, I look at them and I say, kailang, kailang kaya kita masusuot, di ba? Parang yeah. ganyan. So, actually, how yeah. much of your life is, you know, mm-hmm. well, how much of that is, like, in fashion? Well, actually, when I, I would stare at my closet whenever, um, whenever I feel down. <laughs> and um, <laughs> during, during the whole quarantine period, talagang yun yung ginagawa ko. Like, I just fix my closet, fix my clothes, and then wonder, like you, like wonder, kailan ko ba masusuot to? And I think that's what um, triggered the whole um, nagdadamit, like uh, the videos oh. that I've been putting out. Because I've been wanting to wear all these clothes, pero wala akong occasion. Oh, and I haven't <laughs> Yeah, I haven't left the house in a hundred days. Really? It's like, well, yeah. you know, I him kita, and I feel like a lot of girls, a lot of fashion go- girls feel the same way. I've rearranged my closet so good about twice mm-hmm. already. And yeah. it's just, you, know, you just find joy in looking at them and you wonder, yeah. parang, okay, oh, kaya itong masusuot, di ba? So I'm exactly. glad that now we have this thing. So like, you know, uh, <laughs> I know that you also got a package from Una Ricci. So mm-hmm. yeah, so they, yes. they, have lot, they have a lot of great <laughs> stuff, di ba? Parang, I told my followers earlier, I told the viewers earlier, that I met you when you were a blogger, a fashion yes. blogger, di ba? And I told them that a blogger before means, like, legit talaga. As in, it would come with an article. You would really write about, you know, the fashion yes. events that you go to. It's not like when you say you're a blogger now, you just post an OOTV, ganyan, and everything, and then blogger ka na. So what would you say was the difference between bloggers then and bloggers now? Oh, gosh. Um, the thing is now, is it still a thing? Parang wala nang blogger ngayon eh. Parang oh, people have shifted from um, uh, blogging to vlogging. So it became like video format. So parang I think, well, because I, I, I stopped writing on my blog, which was so heartbreaking because I really <laughs> love to write. As in, I know. Ka. But parang lately, I think people stop reading or they just want to read very short parang um, parang caption like you know article na yun sa kanila yeah. yung mga caption or Twitter oh. like that and I think things have changed so much so from from blogging it became blogging and yeah it's yeah it, and it's hard to identify now kasi parang bilang na wala yung yung blogger and there's like a new there's like a new term for it. Blogger. And, but there's still yeah, refer to as blogger. Blogger, like when we arrange events, kasi blogger pa rin kasi naman yung topic. Blogger pa rin. Oh, Although hindi na same so. yung discipline. Although I see that you also come out with videos. I mean, like my favorite, yeah. favorite video of yours is when you pack for a vacation, it's very helpful. So syempre, I wanna see what's in your suitcase, di ba? Parang it's, parang ako, parang I wanna see what's in her suitcase and I, I get useful fits at the same time. So is it a conscious effort on your part na, all of my videos have to be instructional, education. Some, some people might have to get something out of it as well. Parang ganyan. Is it like a conscious effort? Well, kasi um, before I, I started my blog, I was uh, writing. I was um, an editor for one of um, Inquirer's uh, magazines. And I, w- I also had a column in, in their newspaper. And, right. and parang for me... Uh, I was getting writer's block and so I decided I need like something without structure and so I started my blog and and I think that sort of like but at the same time it still had structure so I think my background in <laughs> publishing parang really helped me form like okay it has to be like how to it has to be like um, something that what what will the reader get out of it it's not just fuck you they should get like, a lesson out of it they should get like um, something, something out of me that it's, that's why it's always instructional. That's why it's always like, I'm showing like how to do it. 
because right. I feel that it's easier for me because I'm coming from the background of publishing. Na it's very like that. No, my structure. And, you carry it over. Yeah. Tama. Tama naman. Yeah. Even to my, to my IG. That's true. That's true. Ang ganda mo daw. Hindi ka daw nag-age. Anong secret ni Kerry Lisa? Right <laughs> what is the secret to ageless beauty? Oh for you, God. what do you think is the secret to ageless beauty? Um, I, For me, uh, I think it's really eating healthy. Um, Three years ago, I discovered the ketogenic diet. And I know okay. it's so boring to talk about like eating vegetables no, and all of I mean, that. Like, people are but no, but some people kasi they like snore. Like, <laughs> they talk about it. <laughs> but um, I think it really changed everything. It changed my life because I didn't realize that before I was eating unhealthily. Like, I would just eat whatever kasi and I would never gain weight. Well, that's that was the thing. But then I also had so many like sakit. Like, I would have vertigo. I would get like migraines and I would like, I had like a uh, ringing of the ear or tinnitus okay. all mm -hmm. the time. So I had to, um, those were the things I struggled with. And then I discovered the ketogenic diet. So it's like um, low carb and zero sugar. High fat. High fat, High fat yes. Mm -hmm. High fat, yes. And the best part since, for me, high fat. <laughs> yes. And, um, but of course, um, people say you can't sustain it. But I've been doing it for three years. But I have been on and off. Of course, like sometimes okay. I cheat. But when I cheat, I do IF. So it's like a combination of the two. But I really well, think it changed. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's a it life changed style. everything. Do, yeah, it's I just, you know, it has a balance of everything. Tama, tama. Mm -hmm. I mean, my topic tonight is about love and the, the, the yeah. multifaceted woman. So <laughs> when you were the Laga, okay. when you planned, did you ever, like, think of, like, where you will be when you, parang, was, what percentage is love, in, uh, like, in terms of, like, planning your dream? Because, remember, you were very successful before you got married, diba? You were a model and then you were yeah. a teacher post and everything, di ba? Parang anong part ng dream mo for yourself, like when you would settle that, anong part, anong percentage no ng love? Well, the thing is, well, my husband now, we were together for such a long time. We were together for like a decade before getting married. And actually, yeah. I didn't even think of marriage. Like, I was like, <laughs> it's okay if we don't get married. Like, it's not, really? it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's not a big deal. But it was for him pala. So, okay, then it's good. I mean, I never really thought much about it. I I thought we were okay where we were at that time. And I was happy naman. And I think it just carried over because we've been together for so long. And we've been friends for so long. That parang, wala. It, it, but he was your brother's friend, di ba? Parang I read some, I don't know if I my, read it or I watched that interview. Yeah, he, that he's Carlos the brother of your, my friend. Ah, he's the brother of your friend. So parang, yeah. like, what, what, tell us, tell us what, how you met him for the first time. I mean, what was your reaction? Oh my God, kinikilig ka ba ng konti? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, well, how did you meet Carlos? My, my friend is Bianca Fernandez. I'm not sure if you met her. Yeah, but she's yeah, also yeah. like in the industry, like um, events. And at that time, we were both um, starting out modeling together. So um, we, I joined the modeling contest back in the day in Teen Magazine, pa. Like that was yeah, so long ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, like, oh, wala na. It uh -oh. died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Teen Magazine, and um, I joined the contest, and the winner of that contest was actually Solen. Solen won that contest. Oh wow! So, oh, yeah. Man. So parang batch meets. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> and then um, I met Bianca there, and. We found out we lived in the same area, and so we started carpooling together because we were going to La Salle that time. And uh -oh. so I would meet her friends. And what was your I ID would... number in La Salle? Do you want to say or no? <laughs> ninety-nine. No, it's okay. Okay, I'm proud. baby girl. ID oh. ninety-nine. Oh. <laughs> and so yes, yeah, so we were always carpooling, and I I would meet all of Bianca's friends, and I would sleep over at their house sometimes. So. I, I met your family, of course. And parang there was nothing naman about it. Actually, he was the last person that I, I got close to and I befriended. Because he's kind of like, hindi siya masyadong um, friendly to everyone. <laughs> he's kind Mukha of like... Mukha um, suplado. Nakakatakot siya. Yeah. He's like the suplado guapo kind of guapo, no? Yeah. Well, he's suplado. But once you get to know him, wala, he, forever na yan. He'll be your most loyal friend. Okay. And so, yeah, and so he was the last one that I got to know. And 
um, yeah, and we sort of, biglang, we got together, and, yeah. <laughs> Actually, who expressed, oh, who expressed like the friction? Yeah, because Bianca was like, um, she didn't like the idea. <laughs> ah, talaga? Kontra siya? Because, anong sabi niya? Because I'm her friend, and that's her brother. So, parang, I don't know, weird. very Korean, Korean drama. <laughs> yeah, very weird. Yeah, parang, it, it's sort of weird, I guess. But, but when you saw him for the first it. time, yeah, 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 but when you saw him for the first time, what did you think? Was this, parang, was he your type? Was he, what? Um, the first time that we hung out, it was a group thing. Eh. Well, I didn't even yeah. notice it. I was just like, Somebody that guapo. Yeah, of course. But I wasn't interested. I wasn't looking for that at that point okay. in time. But um, I think, yeah, when, yeah. Ano ba? Ayaw ko i-share lahat. No, but go. I-share ko na lahat. No, but I think when I found out that he liked me for a year. Wow. That's when I was like, what? Like, yun. Parang I sort of like, what? <laughs> How did you find out? He told you. Um, Bianca actually told me. Oh, Bianca told, told you. Me. Yeah. So okay, na siya. when he when she told you. So I know. Else, okay, na siya with the idea, de ba? Yeah, but he liked me for a year, and so I didn't even think anything of it until when I found out, and I was like, sort of, you know what? How how right. it is when you find out, na parang someone likes you, you sort of like, oh nga, you look no, at parang, them a different way. Yeah, and parang. Makikita mo na yung future bigla na. Okay. <laughs> Na-imagine mo na lahat. So, parang... So, did, it, so did what your future look like change when, you know, you found out that he was interested in you? So, of course, you had dreams for yourself, di ba? At such a young age. I mean, when we were all in college, di ba? We were like, mm-hmm. oh, this is my dream for myself. And I don't know mm-hmm. if you're the, the type of girl that would say na parang, ah, dapat by age 30-something, I'm, I'm married na. This is what no. I have So, you're not that type of girl, di ba? No. So, how did your dreams for yourself change when he was already in the picture? Well, because we're both like so laid back and so easy going that right. we, I mean, our engagement was three years. So, para Oh, wow! Long engagement. Like, chill. Like, we Uh-oh. could just like be in this like position or, or we could just be in this um phase like boyfriend-girlfriend or para it's the same eh, because it doesn't really matter if you're married or boyfriend-girlfriend because it's like you are how you are as yeah. a couple. So, parang very unfussy, very unfussy, di ba? Parang, I yeah. feel like well, it's that's... a friendship, like a mm-hmm. romantic relationship and a friendship, parang equal siya, di ba? So, what did you yeah. like, what did you like most about him? Like, how did uh, you feel, parang, ah, this, this guy will com- complement my life and my plans for myself in this way? I think what I liked about him is, was how real he is. Like, what you see is what you get. He, he will never lie to you. He will never um, create, like, pretenses or yeah. mo nagma-mind games. Walang gano'n. Like, <laughs> what I am, ito na yun. Like, there's no, like, extra thing na parang playing with your mind or, like, playing with you. Nothing like that. So that's what I liked about it, uh, about him. And that's what I like about the relationship because we could be brutally honest but of course, ako yung nasasaktan. But we could be, we could tell each other things and it would still be okay. Hindi siya yung parang may grudge or parang, alam mo yon yung parang nag-harbor ng ill feelings or whatever. Yeah. Walang game. That's nice. That's, yeah. nice. That's yeah. nice. How does he feel about being married to such a pretty girl, such a beautiful girl? I'm sure everybody still has a crush on you like since college. I mean, like all of my classmates, si Kelly Kelly Misa, ganyan, ganyan. They would keep your magazine covers, ganyan. So how does he feel? Does he ever tell you about how he feels about, you know, being married to somebody as pretty as you? Somebody as, you know, as like, you know, like somebody as accomplished as you? Do you ever I talk about know, it? Eh. We do talk, don't about talk about it. it. He... He treats me like a normal per. I don't know. Like, walang ano pedestal. Parang it's like, um, maayos yung usapan, but walang Uh-oh. like you're the most beautiful woman in the world. Walang ganon eh. And I think I appreciate it because it keeps me grounded. It doesn't make me like like walk around strutting my yeah. stuff. Yeah, like, I'm the hottest. Walang ganon yeah, eh. Yeah. But, <laughs> we just keep things real, and we talk about. Um, important things like things that matter 
like right. I don't know like family like all those yeah. things and I think it's it's a good thing parang it's a good uh, contrast to my industry or our industry na it's very important yung looks yung yes, how you dress so parang with him I feel like I'm on a normal break. Wow. Like, I don't wow. have to like wear makeup. I don't need to dress wow. up. Like, like be myself. Like But a great insight. I mean, like I feel like, like I like just like oh, tama. Parang he's the one that when you remove your makeup, parang ah, I just want to yeah. be with this guy, de ba? Yeah. Of course, you're very. I mean, like everybody look, they they all look up to you, de ba? Parang when you get home, parang ah, this guy treats me normal. So that's yeah. probably what I need when I get home for, at the end of the day, de ba? Does he ever take your pictures? Is he an Instagram husband? <laughs> yes. Well, he. Forced. Oh my God! You trained him well. Forced. Yeah, we. Ang dami naming away because of it. Like. <laughs> Years and years oh, of no, fighting. Oh. Yeah, it's it really hurts. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, it really <laughs> causes, ano, ah, it causes fights. You it causes fights. Because how many? Yeah, exactly. How many? Diba? Fights, like you, so like do you need? Oh, oh. Yeah, and I want to look a certain way. Tapos pagtingin mo parang ganyan yung mukha mo or hindi maganda, de ba? Para um. Yeah, you have a certain expectation in your brain, and, and parang hindi siya na hindi siya na deliver. So cause a spike. Ganon talaga siya na train para maganda na. Kasi ang ganda ng photos mo eh. I mean like yeah. kuha kuha yung perfect reaction, de ba? <laughs> Tapos sometimes you do pa a carousel. So sabi ko ah hindi ba kapili si Kelly? Hindi niya siya picture sa kanya, de ba? So how long yeah. did you take you to train him to, to really really take those really nice pictures of you? A few years. A few years. years? <laughs> yeah, because no, okay. He was trained because um he goes with me to all my my shoots for training with Kelly. Because it's a yeah, travel show. show. Your show, is yeah. Easy. And um, I started when I was um, I mean, training with Kelly started when Tristan was born. So I had oh, wow. him with me everywhere. Because yeah. breastfeeding, pa and all. Uh-huh. And so, parang nasama na sila to all our trips. And so, his training was the hard training because. It had to be fast. It had to be like we were in yes. wherever and pro talaga pro naman, scenic oh. and all. So that was his training. And oh, he's watching. That's him. Lost the girl. Oh my god! Hi, hi, Carlos. <laughs> so Carlos, we're yeah. talking about so, you. Yeah, and but now he's really good. Like I'm so I'm so happy and proud. Like few clicks lang. And I think his his secret is he puts it on uh, blast. What do you call it? Um, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yung Tama. Blast. Yeah, yeah, yung yung blast mo, yung yung burst, burst. 50 photos. Burst. Burst. Uh-oh. 50 burst, photos, yeah. mamili ka na dyan. Ganon. My And, God, it's so uh, galing. Yeah. How does he feel about your How does he feel about your social media persona? Because in social media, you have a lot of endorsements from you cook and then like you, I mean like you endorse a lot of things. So how support? I'm not gonna. Of course, he's supporting. He's your he's your husband, there. Eh? But how yeah. do you feel that he supports you in terms of your social media persona? Well, he doesn't want to be in it. He doesn't want to be in my feed. Ah, talaga. Very rare. It's very rare that he's going to be on it. Like, I really have to ask his his permission because he's a very private person. He's yeah. laughing. And um, uh, <laughs> and, but he pag Father's Day lang pag birthday, de ba? Pag Father's Day lang siya nandito. Yeah. Oh, birthday, Father's Day, yung kailangan Uh-oh. family picture, yung talagang yun na lang. I, I I ask him, please, can I please post our photo family naman? And yeah. He would. He so would agree. So far, it's been working, naman. I mean, people want to see me, naman, interested. <laughs> but he takes yes. my photo in return. I mean, because he doesn't want to be part of it, he will take my photo. So that's a good. Um, that's a good trade-off. <laughs> For me, Tristan looks like him. Tristan looks like yeah. him. Who do people say that he looks like Tristan? Some me, some him. But I think now mostly him. Now. Kamo ka niya yung like mata. Same kina lang eyes. Yeah, yeah. They, same eyes. Tapos yeah. you already included Tristan na rin in your, in your video. Sabi mo, mayroon video, nagluluto kayo, di ba? Yeah. He's, so, he's also super telegenic, photogenic. Siyempre, two beautiful parents, di ba? I mean, how do you explain to him that, you know, oh, we're gonna shoot a video, ganyan? It's hard. Because, um, actually, he's like my husband. He's very shy. And he doesn't like oh. it when people, like, Hi. um pay attention. Like, kunyari, we're out. And then people recognize him. He doesn't like that. He's like, He gets freaked out oh. because, you know, he's at home. Like, how do people know him? <laughs> the vibe's strange, the ba? But um, I asked yeah, him, like, the ba? 
But um, usually I brief him like, okay, we have to cook today. We'll cook this one, <laughs> and we have to help mom with the camera. And he sort of understands that he has to smile. He has to like, okay, like like uh, listen for instructions. He understands that, naman. But may cut off talaga. Like sometimes he's like, it's oh, too no. hot, mom. He'll leave. He'll leave me. Kaya minsan, he's there and then biglang mawawala siya. Because meron talaga siyang point na, no, I can't. He won't. Like, I he'll leave. But that, that's fine. Warm, warm. <laughs> Did you want more kids? Do you want more kids? Like, maybe a girl? Um, para naman, like... A lot of people are saying that, actually, na we should have a girl. But parang right now, we're okay. Because you're, you're, you're we're really hands on. Okay. Um, actually, Carlos and I don't have a yaya for Tristan, and we've been taking care of him since since he was born. Like he had a yaya wow. I think, for eight months lang. Okay. Like when he was one to two, he had a yaya, but then it didn't work out. So we're very hands on with him, and it works better for us. But we can't imagine having two. Like, ang hirap <laughs> <laughs> And I can't imagine oh, being oh, pregnant but... again. And nice. yeah. Parang our generation, parang happy na with a small family, no? As opposed to our parents. Like me, I have four siblings. How many siblings do you have, Kels? Uh, we were four. I have an older sister oh, and younger brother. Parang, do you, would you ever think that you would have like four kids? Oh my God. Diba parang I imagine it. Ball? You cannot imagine yeah. it, diba? Our generation, parang happy tayo with small families. That's why yeah. sobrang, sobrang tutok talaga dun sa, dun sa anak, diba? Parang ganyan. So they, exactly. they become very, very close to us, diba? Mm-hmm. So how do you feel, Kelly, that the pandemic is going to change, like, the line of work that we're into, especially, diba? Right. We attend a lot of events, and diba, parang, do you feel that it's going to change in a major way? And what do you think are the, the ways that it's going to change for us? I think it already changed. I think uh, it's it's really destroyed like our sort of um, perception of you know events, the, the yes. normal stuff that we used to take for granted. I guess dressing right. up events. I think what's going to happen is everything is going to be digital now. Everything is right. going to be online videos, and it's sort of scary because well, well, I feel connected to you right now and to everyone yeah. else. But I also miss the the Human touch. touch and the, you know, yung tinginan talaga na eye to mm-hmm. eye. I don't know. I, miss, I don't want to lose that. Going to events, like, beso-beso, shaking yeah. hands. Yeah. Like that, it's diba? sad. I think that's what the the virus did. Parang I think it attacked the very thing that makes us human, which is connection, human connection. Exactly. Uh, so, so now, are we, are, are oh, we going to just be? Are we just going to just be taking pictures and videos? And parang is it? Parang I think it's going that way. At least for Uh-oh. the next year, I think. Right, Hopefully. right. What do you miss about life before COVID? What do you miss most about life before COVID? In terms of your traveling, profession, traveling, huh? traveling. Oh, ah, I mean, mention yung parang board ka, you'll start checking the airline for tickets. Uh-oh. Na parang kung may promo. And then, parang checking hotels. Tapos bigla, or sometimes on a whim, just go to Batangas or just drive somewhere and then go on a staycation. And right. all of a sudden, you're there in a different place. Parang you're not cooped up at home. And right. yun yung nakakamiss. Because the, uh, uh, when you do those things, it's like an adventure and you meet so many people. And diba, parang there's something that's waiting to happen <laughs> when you're yeah. doing that. Social media also did that, did that to us and it showed us how how big the world really is and how accessible yeah. it is, how accessible it is to us. And I feel like you're the type of girl that gets excited about packing because I see your videos. Yeah. <laughs> like, para, like when you plan your outfits, do you plan your outfits? Because you know, your husband naman is never on your feed, ba? So, mm-hmm. syempre, you just plan your outfits. Hindi mo na tinitero, no? Like, it doesn't matter that you're... Kasi a lot of couples, like the girl, when she, when yeah. she packs for the couple, she would really like, you know, that these are the things that I will pack for you. Para you're gonna... Parang part sila ng accessories. Yeah. You know what I mean? Diba? Parang... Uh, mm-hmm. A married woman, a married stylish woman, like the 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 French girls that we follow, the the influencers that we follow, Molly Chan, everybody, all those girls, the si Nicole Warren and everyone. Mm-hmm. Parang, you feel like when you see their feed and their husbands are in it, parang ay pilano niya tong outfit na to. Yeah, <laughs> ka, parang, It's not your problem because he doesn't like to be photographed no. with you, naman, de So parang yeah. 
when when you when you plan your outfits for example a trip how do you go about it a lot of our viewers wanna, they want to know kasi diba parang mm-hmm. you're you're known for your style and you're known for your organizational skills <laughs> well for me so how do you go what's the first i hate packing i really hate packing yeah. Yeah, I, i assume that you love it I I don't really like it but I have to be uh, very organized <laughs> because nga, I tra- I used to travel a lot for my show right but I think it it yeah. all starts with how much luggage space you have and from there you every piece has to be repeated like at least three times so wow. considering oh, yeah wow. considering that you have to may labada like may Airbnb and you Uh-oh. can wash your clothes It has to be so versatile na you can mix and match it endlessly and you'll have different outfits. And so I always oh God, um, think really about good. that. Yeah, ang galing. That's very really, ano ah, it's, it's it's a very great way to plan your outfits, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang different basics and then when you tama, tama naman, ang galing, ang galing. Yeah. So where was the last place that you, you went that before the, the lockdown hit? Sorry, sorry. What? Sorry. No, but of course that, you need that, that, that one, one what? that one outfit to wow, like one going out outfit just in case you have like a an event or something. You always have to bring that one wow outfit. Right. Yeah. What are you asking? You always Sorry. look good. Obviously, you always you always look good, de ba? Pero how do you know? Like in the eyes of your husband, how do you know that it's a wow? <laughs> Well, he tells me. He tells me. Um, yeah, I will know. <laughs> I will know. Um, he's very. Because he's very. He's very verbal. Naman siya about it. Yes. He yeah. Is. Yeah. So he's, And, he's generous with his compliments. Naman. Yeah, he's a guy. Naman. So you'll know. I mean, yeah. <laughs> But um, some <laughs> cat. Oh, siya. But what? Uh, yeah. Although he. He wait. He may seem like an everyday. I don't know. Like I feel like every day, naman he he notices naman what what I wear. But he doesn't really. Um, he doesn't really expect me to dress for him. I think that's like a big factor. He appreciates, but he doesn't need okay. me to be like dressed for him. Oh, oh, maganda yeah. naman yun. Because we dress Uh-oh. for ourselves and we dress for our for fellow women, de ba? Exactly. I I believe in that. Oh, nice, nice. Of course, you're all, you're also part of a group of very stylish women, like Sina Bianca, <laughs> everybody else, right? Yeah. And you all look the same. I mean, I don't see. I don't mean that you all look the same, ha. Parang when you're mm-hmm. all together, parang everything is planned. Parang you sobrang coordinated kayo. So is that planned or no? Parang ganon. Same lang talaga kayo ng style. Well, in the beginning, um, no. Like we would. Um, arrive wearing similar outfits or si- a similar palette. Na, oh my gosh, it's complementing. And then later on, parang oh, would be like, I think it would be better if we stick to this palette. Okay, today uh, pastels <laughs> or because it looks better. Eh. And if we're in a in a group right. and we want to be photographed, yeah, it, it's it's better that way. I think. Yeah, you sort of talk about it, but very loosely, so like, like not naman like. My my style peg with the with the illustration and all. It's Uh-oh. like color lang. <laughs> so si na si na si na to take ng lead. Parang si na nag sabi na parang okay. This is what we're gonna wear. We're gonna come in neutrals. We're gonna come in florals. Who's parang the leader of the group when it comes to like styling everybody? Um, or, like when it comes to styling, it's Bianca. It's Bianca. Because the stylist naman talaga si Bianca. Yeah, and we always tama, ask tama. for her opinion. Yeah. What do young girls ask you? Like you and your group, Shampe. I'm sure that because you have a group, de ba? Parang what do they normally yeah. ask you in terms of? Because you're a lot of a lot of the young girls really look up to you. I know that some of my viewers like really want, you know, somebody like style pegs to look up to. And you know, I I like that it's a group that's not fussy and fu- medyo unfussy. Alam mo yon? Hindi siya like overly. Mm-hmm. You're not overly dressed. It's very natural. Parang ganon. So what do you normally say to young girls? Who like wanna be like you or wanna dress like you? What's the first thing that you tell them? Oh gosh. Well, I think um, it's very important to be comfortable with what you're wearing. I think that's where you find your style. But I I read about it years ago. Like you have to consider the things that you wear a lot, 
Kasi we we always have this connotation na parang this is my style and then we never yeah. wear that style. Like we buy those clothes, <laughs> we buy those certain clothes. Kanya, we buy all these red like um sparkly dresses kanyan, but we never wear it because we want that to be our style. But we also have to consider what we really wear on a day-to-day basis. So para you have to mesh the two. Para you're comfortable. Yeah. Yung you have to be you have to um be true to yourself na parang well sa totoo lang I always wear jeans. So para yeah. you have to marry like the jeans and the red sparkly dress like pwede mong gawing top. So parang in that way hi, you're hi, marrying hi. both and you're comfortable. It's not like yeah. you're stuck in like something that you're pulling and tugging and you're not yourself. Parang at least yeah. meron kang Okay, ito yung ano ko, yung comfortable ako na it feels like me. Totoo. But then it's like level Totoo. up. Parang ganon. It's like Totoo. trying to find the balance between the two. That's true, that's true. I think also with the pandemic, a lot of fashion girls have, you know, parang mm-hmm. sort of, you know, gone back to the lazy, easy type diba? of dressing. Diba? Parang, the fashion girls now, the fa- when you watch it, when you look at their feet, the fashion girls now are very, very loose and, you know, laid back. And mm-hmm. you know, I think that's the way the pandemic also changed fashion. Na parang you, you cannot, you know, parang what's the point in all of these clothes when you know when things like this happen? Diba? Parang you realize you, you realize your most basic style, and you realize na parang eh maganda naman pala yung ganito na kapambahay ka lang araw-araw, de ba? But of course, diba? parang as a oh as a stylish girl, de ba? Rin iniisip mo rin na parang but you know I've invested in so many pieces, you know. I mm-hmm. mean like. How did the how did the pandemic change like the way you view your clothes in terms of like which are investments and which are the ones that mm-hmm. you really repeat? Because, right? Parang kasalanan na ngayon kapag hindi ka nagulit ng damit. You cannot buy something and never wear it, wear it once and never wear it again. That is such a waste, yes. right? Like considering what happened to us. Parang I don't think that um it's it's going to be very advisable for you to buy like a statement piece and never wear it again. So mm-hmm. how do you feel if the pandemic changed the way you view what are investment pieces and what are the pieces mm-hmm. that you absolutely love? And you know, you said that you've been rearranging your closet. I'm sure na parang you trimmed the fat, then nagtanggal ka nandiyan ng mga parang, ah, I never wear this na. Or there yeah. are things that you keep in your closet for sentimental reasons, di ba? Mm-hmm. So how did it change the way that you look at your clothes as a fashion girl? Well, right now, I think I put away all the things that I don't really use or I don't see myself using in the foreseeable future. Because <laughs> I put it first away in boxes. Well, actually, that's how I decide to get rid of something. Like, if I put it in a box and for a month I forget about it, then it's time to let it go. But then... Oh, ang sakit. Yeah, parang may, may rule na ganun eh. But then now it's a pandemic. So it's easier to see your closet if it's decluttered. Wala siya yung mga things na will remind you of, I don't know, of <laughs> may manega or whatever. Or oh, parang, oh. Wait, balik ba yung box ba yan? Hindi <laughs> naman. Gano'ng kalaki yung like, mo? I have, I have 12 balik ba yung boxes. Oh, Kasi I moved God. back home. Tapos sabi ko, pero ang... Pero in organized ko, t-shirts, parang yeah. blazers, ganyan. So, parang mm-hmm. mas organized. Diba? Parang when you look yeah. for them again, it's easier to find. It's not like parang, oh, hindi siya parang Marie Kondo na parang, uh, it doesn't give me joy. Uh, this one gives me joy. It's, I'm still very organized about it. So, when I look mm-hmm. for the swimsuit that I like, I know that it's gonna be in this box and I label yeah. it. How many boxes have you set aside since the pandemic? Boxes of stuff, clothes, accessories, shoes, everything. I think about two, um, two boxes. Of wow. Clothes, That's very economical. Clothes, boxes lang. Or mga, oh. mga beach clothes. Kasi those oh. things, you can't really use it at home. I mean, yeah. I, I just want, when I look at my closet right now, I want it to be streamlined and parang it will make me feel good na, alam mo yun, parang kasi if oh. you see all yung mga skimpy or tight, parang I can't wear it now eh. Parang I kind of feel sad. So it's good to like not <laughs> see it for a while. Kasi I miss Uh-oh. traveling eh. So parang super, it, super. Ito, diba? Parang nakakalungkot Uh-oh. siya. So parang out muna. Ito muna yung mga comfy, mga loose-loose, or yung mga pwedeng itak, ganyan. Yung easy Correct. clothes. 
Yeah. So easy it's, clothes it's, at it's home. Easy clothes. easy clothes at home. Do you yes. do you get a chance to go out, like to visit family and friends, or go to the grocery? I mean, like, what are the simple joys that you enjoy now? Because of course, you had a very very busy hectic schedule, de right? And then all of a sudden, mm-hmm. you're forced to be like 100 ilang days na bang sa bahay lang. So what are the simple? What, yeah, I know. Sobrang daming sobrang haba na ng time. So what are the simple joys that you enjoy now? I mean, considering that you know. Before it was like ah, parang, I, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here, and then di ba parang mm-hmm. before you would go out of the house maybe like six, seven times a week, and now parang if you go out of the house once, parang kalabisan nasa it's like parang oh my god that's too much if I go out of the yeah. house like once or twice a week, di ba? So yon, so so pa no so parang what are the simple joys that you enjoy apart from being around family and yun? Mm-hmm. Well, I think it's really visiting my parents every Sunday. Because mm-hmm. they are at that age, the ba? The age na oh, oh. delikado na talaga. And um, I think, see, like, with this pandemic, they have become sort of, they listen to me more. And there's more conversation. There's more conversation. There's more connection. I think because there's like this parang danger, parang looming danger oh. around us. So parang mas nag-open up yung family members and mas nagiging close and mas nakikinig. Is it easier to say and, I love you to each other? Is it easier to say I love you? Actually, hindi kami mag-ganun eh. We oh, don't okay, really say I love, love you, but... Eh. How, do yeah, you like How do you show your affection? How do you show your affection na lang? Oo. Well, we... I bring them food. I, and then, parang ganun. Parang I introduce them to the food that I discover in Instagram and then they like it. And then, <laughs> I think there's more Uh-oh. like listening and give and take. Kasi before, parang ang dami nangyayari. May phone, or parang hindi nakikinig. And wala. Parang, um, there was a disconnect before. Na, okay. na now, I think, it's it's better talaga. Like, everyone's just, we're, we're taking, um, we're making the most of this time together. No one's taking time for granted. And I, I really true, like that. Yeah. Even parang if we have a lot of time in those relationships, that's absolutely right. I mean, like, even if we have a lot of time now, so imagine parang you have 24 hours in the day at home, di ba? Parang mm-hmm. that's sometimes like when back in our, our busy frenzied life, di ba? Parang it is, parang, I just want to get home and get some rest and like sleep like yeah. maybe 10 hours this weekend. And now you have the luxury of time to do that, to absolutely do that. And then you're right. Like you sort of like realize now what's more important. Alam mo yun? Parang mm-hmm. I think the good thing about it is you're faced with the fact na parang, okay, these are the things that are really important. Like, Stri- strip down everything, you remove everything, ah, ito talaga yung mahalaga pala. So, uh-huh. what do you think, diba, para, yun yung magandang part, I mean, like, you have to look mm-hmm. at it that way, otherwise, you're gonna go crazy, no, diba, na para, mm-hmm. okay. these are the, so, what are the things that you learned with the pandemic, like, that really, absolutely matter to you, non-negotiable, so, of course, your career is still very important, diba, hindi naman pwedeng wala tayong career as a modern, you know, multifaceted woman, diba, mm-hmm. so, what what do you think are your plans going to be in terms of um your career for yourself after the pandemic? Once this is over, God. what is the it's, game plan? What is the game plan for Kelly Lisa? It's really hard because so many like so many brands, so many companies, restaurants, and all of this. Diba? They talk about you pivot, pivot, and trying to yeah. like, sort of reinvent, diba? <laughs> sort of reinvent yourself and how to go with the times. But it's hard, eh? like. For me, I think I found my outlet in like just dressing up in front of the camera and looking like a crazy person. Actually, the whole house. No, you don't. That's what I'm when saying. I do it. It. Parang sabi ko, sabi ko, when you walk down that hallway, and parang, alam mo yun, parang sabi ko, bakit yung, kasi ka ako, pag ginawa ko yun, sobra ko ma-awkward, hindi ko talaga siya mapopost. Kasi parang sabi ko, yuck, you're crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> but you, you look so, I mean, like, hindi siya nakaka, hindi siya nakaka-awkward. Alam mo yun, like, when I watch you, parang, ah, okay, this, because she's a model, di ba? Na parang, I mean, your your model face, your poker face, di ba? You, you, you do it so well. So, I didn't know that it was on out. Eh? Kaya pala gano, natural na natural. Well, kasi years of modeling, like, I think Uh-oh. I started uh, year 2001. So, parang medyo, and then I modeled everywhere. So, parang I think that came naturally. But it's also hard to know what to do next. I think that's really where the fear mm-hmm. lies. Like, where, all, di ba? Yeah, like, uncertainty. Like, yeah, anxiety. We're worried Correct. about what's going to happen because we don't know what's what the future will hold, di ba? Ano bang kailangan nila sa future? Kailangan pa ba tayo, di ba? I mean, you was a writer. <laughs> kailangan oh, pa ba? Okay. Model, oh. kailangan pa ba tayo? And that's all, it's always like that fear na everything's like 
bad news, bad news. So, yeah. Um, I'm also like holding my breath. I don't know also what the answer is. But it's very but... exciting then. It's exciting. Anytime there is uncertainty and anytime mm-hmm. there is uh, there is uncertain, yun nga, na parang anytime you feel that there's a change happening, there's always some level of excitement to it. Kasi you don't know what's going to happen eh, diba? As long as your values are grounded and then you know what you want, eh, diba? And you've been like totally faithful to your brand, no matter what the season, diba? You're still gonna be true to yourself. And parang I feel like this pandemic also will change the way people look at love. Kasi syempre, if you've been stuck with your no. loved one, if you've been stuck with your husband or your wife or your boyfriend, girlfriend, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for 140 days, diba? It's going to change. Parang, diba? Parang there are a lot of people that have not been married. Like my, like my brother na postpone yung wedding nila and everyone else. Parang ngayon ba, in, in choosing some, for the single people, in choosing somebody to love, in choosing somebody you're going to be with, ano yung mga nag-change for you? Parang ikaw, when you think about it, like, ah, mas na-appreciate ko si Carlos because ito yung natutunan ko sa kanya nung na- mm-hmm. nagkaroon kami ng lockdown na hindi na kami umaalis ng bahay at all. Nung wala na kami individual lives, nung talagang nag, ano na lang kami dalawa, kami na lang forever with our kid. So what are the things that you learned about love in term in, in the light of this pandemic situation? Well, yeah! I, think <laughs> I think it's very important that um, there is um, that that structure that that holds the relationship together. You have to stand each other. Because imagine <laughs> if spend so many hours together, day in day out. As in, kung yes. manis ka lang, then you have to make sure na parang match talaga kayo. Na you don't, alam mo yon yung push each other bu- each other's buttons or you don't like annoy each other. Because Lalo yung iba, maliit lang yung bahay or condo. Like, oh, oh, there's oh. no room to, like, <laughs> walk out or whatever. Me time. Oh, walang room para mag-guard. Parang, can I not see you for at least one hour? Diba? Parang ganyan. Exactly. So, parang hours. And a lot, of, a lot of my friends who are married or in a relationship and they're quarantined together, parang, it's it's either going to bring them closer together. It's gonna make them realize. So, parang, oh my God, what am I doing with you? Diba? So, of course, definitely, ikaw in your situation, mas naging bonded kayo, di ba? I'm sure, eh. So, mm-hmm. mas naging bonded yes. kayo. Force. What are those little, what are those little things that you felt na parang, ako ah, hindi nangyari yung pandemic, hindi kami magiging, of course, bonded na kayo, matagal na kayong married, eh. But, mm-hmm. of course, the pandemic will sort of also help your relationship, di ba? It sort of strengthens the love that you have for each other. So, how do you feel the pandemic helped your relationship on a positive well, side of the pandemic? Mm-hmm. Well, kasi, I, home, there is, you can't really call. Kanya, if something breaks at home, then I really appreciate it that my husband can fix it. That's one thing that I love about him. Na if there's something broken, he can fix it because I know I know you can't call like a plumber or whatever. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Kailangan maasahan mo yung, ano, yung partner mo. Man, you man talaga. Like, yeah. And that's like, oh my God, parang hindi ko siya kayang gawin. <laughs> like, kunyari, masira electrical something. <laughs> Na-appreciate ko talaga na parang oh. there's a man in the house. So parang that's one thing that I love na he, he and I realized that he is my opposite. So whatever um, I'm bad at, he's good at. He's and uh, at vice versa. So parang we complement each other. Parang yin and yang in that way. Nice. But we're also, it's also hard because we're also opposite. So parang minsan nagka-clash kami or we don't understand each other or may, may nasabi yung iba, yung isa, tapos parang na trigger parang ganon but yeah. um yeah it's really the balance of of life and relationship I like it I like it, I like it. it's balance talaga yun ang tama yeah. tama yeah. and when you have was, one uh, one minute can you believe one hour na siya one minute <laughs> thir- thirty seconds so as a final I wanna thank you because so if we get cut off I wanna thank you for talking to me talking to us such a great time I mean like I, I, I know such a great time to be alive more often yeah 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 so what do you think na lang is, you know, kasi parang at the time of the pandemic, you can still have it all as a modern woman. So maybe like one final piece of advice to the girls that are watching and look up to you. Parang you don't have to choose between your career and love. What is the main advice that you can give them? You have one minute, Kelly Oh my gosh, Oh my gosh, grabe naman. Well, for me, <laughs> it's very important.
Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, okay. Go, okay. I think it's very important um, to know what you want for yourself and to know what makes you happy because that will help you build your career. I mean, diba, like what they always say, like um, if you love what you're doing, then you'll never have to work a day in your life. Then I think right. you should follow that first and then love will come. Like, I mean, be do it for yourself first. Don't do it for anyone else and make yourself happy and you will attract um, like-minded.